Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bash Mawashai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone. And Yahweh Bash Mawashai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Brakatham, to the 144,000 servants, as well as the remaining elect of Israel. So I just got home not too long ago from work and um, I came across this video from Good Morning America. Um, it was posted five days ago and as you can see it's entitled Is your phone's digital wallet safer than plastics? And I'm guessing they're going to use this opportunity to market the digital wallet because Currently, the digital wallet is taking over your physical wallet, okay, which currently holds your physical cash, your physical identification, your physical medical records, your physical keys, so on and so forth. However, we're living in a time where there's such a thing as the digital wallet, okay? And, um, you know, your digital wallet right now is on your smartphone because your smartphone can store your bank card, your credit cards, um, your ID, your identification. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, medical records can be stored on um, your smartphone. Okay. Now, the next thing... The next big thing is this digital wallet going from your smartphone into your body, primarily your hands. And that's according to the prophecy, the vision that the Apostle John saw over 2000 years ago on the Isle of Patmos, written in uh, Revelation 13 and 16. Okay. And that's the time that we're fastly approaching and coming into, you know, and this is why um, we're seeing what we're seeing in the news concerning, uh, you know, the digital wallet. I mean, I haven't watched this video yet, but uh, I'm guessing they're going to market Esau's agenda, which is the new world order. Okay. The new world order that you read about on the back of your one US dollar bill which is in Latin, Novus Ordo Soprorum, New World Order. And this is pretty much what the wicked elite want to bring about. And right now they're branding their New World Order as the Great Reset, the Fourth Industrial Revolution, which is pretty much the merging of man and technology. All right. And their crafty way to enslave the masses of people is going to be via the microchip implant, which is the mark of the beast. Hence, Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, again, the mark being the microchip, in their right hand. And um, it's going to be either your right hand or your left hand depending what your most dominant hand is, all right? Because you're gonna have certain people that are left-handed. They're obviously gonna have the chip in their left hand, all right? Because that's their most dominant hand. So don't get too caught up by it saying the right hand. It could be either or, all right? Or in their foreheads, because you're gonna have certain people have the microchip implant in their brain, so to speak. And this is why um, Elon Musk's company, Neuralink, you know, is being pushed. And then you have verse 17, which says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, again, the microchip implant, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, and that's pretty much speaking about a time where Esau is gonna do away with what we know as paper money, cash money, all right, in the physical form, 
all right there's going to be a cashless society and everything is going to go digital all right and in order to be a part of esau's beast system okay, the new world order the fourth industrial revolution or his great reset you're going to have to have the microchip implant all right in order to survive and that also ties in with Revelation 3 and verse 10 concerning the hour of temptation. But the point being is that this digital wallet is going to be the next big thing, especially as it pertains to the microchip implant. Okay, now I'm going to play a little bit from this video or I might just play, play the whole thing. Yeah, it's three minutes long, so I'm going to play it all. But that's the point that I want to make. As the Apostle Paul said, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, the us being the hopeful elect of Israel, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And so those of us that's in the know, that know what time it is concerning Bible prophecy, we know what's around the corner. And what's around the corner is... A major event, a catastrophic event that's going to um, bring about Esau's agenda, his new world order, the microchip implant, once and for all, fulfilling Revelation 13 and 16. Okay. And uh, the message is that any of you Israelites out there, okay, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, especially over here in America. Any of you Israelites out there that get down with Esau's B system via the microchip implant for any reason, you're gonna be destroyed, okay? According to uh, Revelation 14 verses nine to 10, okay? And that destruction is gonna come in the form of thermal nuclear fire via the nuclear missiles. Okay, because shortly after Esau accomplishes his agenda, the New World Order, the, the masses being chipped, World War III is going to heat up to a nuclear level, okay, to the point where these nations, these different countries around the world are going to shoot their nuclear missiles upon each other, mainly targeting America, fulfilling Revelation 14 and 10. Okay, so that fire, for the most part, is going to come from the nuclear missiles as well as the visitation of Yahweh Shai and the holy angels and what people out there call UFOs. Because out of the UFOs, you're going to have laser beams, you know, which is concentrated fire touching the earth, okay, melting people to death in that day. Hence, Malachi 4 verse 1. Job 20 verse 23, Isaiah 66 and verse 15, and a host of other scriptures. But this is the warning, okay? This is the warning pursuant to Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. You know, pretty much us here at Great Millstone, starting with the apostles on down, you know, we're like your spiritual forecasters, okay? As it pertains to Bible prophecy. Hence, um, Matthew 16, verse 3, um, Isaiah 42, and verse 9. The Lord said, um, former things have passed, roughly paraphrasing, and new things do I declare. So right now, Yahweh Bashma was shy, who the world in their ignorance referred to as God and Jesus Christ, is declaring the next major prophecy that's going to take place on the earth via his men, the men of Great Millstone. Okay, and what we're warning you about is the fulfillment of Revelation 13 and 16, the mark of the beast and the judgment thereof, Revelation 14 verses 9 to 10. And they're going to use individuals like this, okay, these various different journalists and newscasters, you know, they're going to use these people to push their agenda, to deceive the masses of people, okay? Anyway, without further ado, let me play this video.
A cover story now, finding safer ways to pay this holiday shopping season. Tap to pay transactions are estimated to grow by more than 150% over the next few years. As this method becomes more popular, Becky Worley joins us to break down how safe they are to use. Good morning to you, Becky. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, if you've ever seen people use their phone or their watch to pay for a purchase and wondered, how do they do that? And is it safe? Well, we're going to answer those questions, but spoiler alert, once you've set this up, it's easier, it's faster, and it may even be safer than using plastic. So as you can see, they're pushing the digital wallet on the smartphone as being safer and more convenient, all right? And that's how they're going to deceive the masses of people. They're doing it in the name of convenience. So again, do not be deceived by how they're marketing Esau's agenda. This wicked agenda of theirs. This digital wallet. Tap to pay. First, the tech. Two devices, your phone and the payment reader, communicate wirelessly. That transmission is encrypted, meaning it can't be intercepted by a hacker. It's a really great tech. And guess what? When they come with this microchip implant, that too is going to be encrypted. Encrypted in the sense that these hackers are not going to be able to um, hack your microchip implant device. That's how they're going to push it. And um, I could be wrong, but I believe you've got companies like Kapersky for that, Norton. Um, I have to do more research on that, but I believe a few years ago, um, the computer company, the antivirus company, um, Kapersky, they came out with their own um, microchip implant that was encrypted, that couldn't get hacked. But that was a few years ago. I'm not sure where they're at with it now. But um, to my recollection, you know, they had a particular chip that couldn't be encrypted. So, again, you know, we're not ignorant as to what, you know, they're pushing here in this agenda. These are probably easier to track. It's your decision when you wear it. Mm -hmm. Your implant, you have 24-7. But I don't want to be scared about someone tracking me and knowing exactly where I am. Anything that's connected to the internet is of interest to us. Um, chip implants is interesting for a few reasons. Um, you can store data on them and you can use them to identify yourself. That also means that that data might be vulnerable. Most people think that Kaspersky is an antivirus company and we are that, but we're a, a global security company doing all kind of security research and we want to be on top of all new trends that we see. The people who get implants are people of all different ages and backgrounds, but what they have in common is that they are not afraid of technology. It is people who are curious about technology and are interested in learning how it can be used. It's practical reasons, because I'm clumsy and I forget my keys and my cards and I travel a lot. I can never lose my keys, I can never use, lose my card. I have connected my RFID chip to the gym. But anyway, let's, let's continue on. Technology that helps reduce a lot of the friction of purchasing. Android, Apple and Samsung phones all have digital wallets built in. You set them up by adding a credit card or a debit card. You can even use a prepaid card. I have an iPhone, so I just double click on the side and up pops my wallet app. I select the credit card I want to use, I just tap, and the purchase is charged just like I used a regular credit card, except it's faster and easier than using plastic. But for You see, it's faster and it's easier than using plastic, as in your credit card or your bank card. The next thing is going to be you know, implanting or having a microchip 
in your hand, all right? That's gonna be the next, the next thing that they're gonna push. Like let's say you, you lose your phone now. Well, if you have it in your hand, <laughs> it's always gonna be on you. You know, your data, your information is always gonna be on you. And that's how, that's how they're gonna market the, you know, the chip. And let's not forget, you already have companies out there like um, Walletmore that does everything that this woman's speaking about in this video, you know, concerning the digital wallet, storing your information on the microchip implant, you know, your identification, your medical records, your cash money, which is going to be your digital money, because they're going to do away with your, your paper money, you know, whether it be um, the pound sterling, the US dollar, the Russian ruble, that's all going to be done away with, man. Anyway. A lot of people, the reason they aren't doing this is they worry about safety. Some people are still hesitant on using digital wallets because it's weird to not have that card information directly in front of you. Your plastic credit card, though, has a vulnerability. If someone gets the number and the date and code on the back, they can make charges. But when your phone communicates with an e-reader, it doesn't share that credit card number. It creates a one-time use number that is useless to a thief. It's called tokenization. The reason tokenization is really helpful is that it creates a level of encryption that we just can't get with physical cards. Google says digital wallets provide added security and Apple adds it's safer than using a physical credit, debit, or prepaid card. Okay, but what if your phone gets stolen? In order to use the digital wallets on watches or phones, your device must have a password. Now, Apple tells us that Apple Pay is available in more than 85% of retailers, but one downside is that that other 15% means you still have to carry a plastic credit card. And we should mention that it's not just the big three that we mentioned, Samsung, Google, and Apple. There are also new services like Zelle and PayPal and Venmo that you can use in some stores. It's a whole new world out there for paying for your purchases, Michael. Yes, it is, Becky. When I tell my kids I give them cash, they look like, what is this? Put it on a card. <laughs> yeah, cash is, you know, <laughs> they really do. But thank you so much for that, Becky. As always, we appreciate you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Rob 